everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be putting together this card here using this adorable Bella and Friends stamp set from the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. And I'm going to show you what we need to get started. I have a Calypso Coral Base, cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of the Suttles uh, designer series paper stack collection in the Calypso coral and this polka dot and that is cut at four and a quarter by three and a half okay four and a quarter by three and a half tall and then I have a strip of the um, cucumber crush floral print that's in the affectionately yours designer I mean not designer washi uh, tape collection that I'm using as a border to tie in for my image and I'll, I'm going to stamp my image on this thick whisper white cardstock cut it two and three quarter by three and a quarter and back it with cucumber crush cardstock cut it three by three and a half and so if you need all the details be sure you head over to my blog at inkandinspirations.com to find all the details for this particular project. Okay, let's go ahead and do some stamping here. And I've got Thick Whisper White because I am going to uh, be adding some water with an aqua painter to color the image. So I'm gonna use Basic Gray Archival Ink and ink up this little fella here with his little friend, her little friend, Miss Bella's a girl. I'm gonna ink that up and stamp. I know that balloon should go pretty straight up to get my image correct, correct orientation. There we go. And so now that archival ink will allow me to add some water to this with my coloring and not smear the ink. Okay, we're gonna let that dry a little bit. In the meantime, let's get Calypso Coral, pump the lid and get some ink there. And I've got my aqua painter with the well of water and the brush tip. And I'm going to pick up some of this ink and just color the balloon. And when I'm coloring on the whisper white, thick whisper white, I try not to go over it too many times because that's what makes the paper do funny things, okay? But our thick whisper white does hold water really well. So I really like to watercolor with it. Okay, let's also do her little collar here. And then I'm gonna close this ink pad, clear off my brush on my painter's rag here to clean the tip. And now I'm going to take Cucumber Crush, pump the lid, get that little pool of ink there, and pick up a little, and I'm gonna use that for this little cute little bird. And I'm doing with a really light touch, just trying to spread the color without going over it too many times. I'm gonna leave his little breast area white for now because I'm gonna add different color there. Okay, he's ready to go. I'm gonna clear my brush, close my ink pad, and use crushed curry. So there we go, and I'm going to pick up a little of that and do his beak, and then do a little of his chest here, his breast. I think I'm gonna do his little feet too. Okay, I'm gonna clear my brush by squeezing the water through and letting it run out to clear the color. And now I'm gonna get Tangerine Tango, pump that lid, get a little bit of that ink there, Pick that up, and I'm gonna add that to the front here. Just kind of mix it with that crushed curry. Okay, cute. All right, now for Miss Bella, I would like to use my Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush. And so I'm just gonna take and paint her and she's gonna be really sparkly and cute. I'm also going to add a sentiment from this set 
which are darling. These are especially good for, I think, friend cards. So sweet. And I'm going to add that in basic gray archival ink as well and attempt to get it straight right up here in this area on my image. So once she dry, she's going to dry really quickly and going to be so pretty all decked out. Okay, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but she's really cute. Okay, so now I have the sentiment that says, I'll be your up when you're feeling down. Love that. So I'm going to, I don't need to pump that lid. <laughs> I'm just going to take my saying and make sure I've got it right side up. Ink it up, check my stamp, and I'm going to stamp it right here. Yay! Okay, so now we can mount it onto our Cucumber Crush, and I think I'm going to use dimensionals on that. And I need to change the blade on my trimmer. Okay, let's see. I'll tell you now, while you're watching this, if you're on YouTube or another social media site and you're seeing this video, be sure you head over to my blog, and I will leave a comment under this post where this card in this video is, and I will choose a winner at random on Sunday evening is when I usually do my draws and post your name there under this post and I'll send someone this card. Okay, so now that's going to go here, but first I wanna add a little something here. So I'm going to use the thick Cucumber Crush Baker's Twine and I'm gonna make some loops here for a bow. Just Okay, two loops on each side, and then I can take this and cut. Then I'm going to cut another length of the twine, take it, and tie it around to make the bow. Kind of a poofy, frilly bow. Okay. Tighten it up, if I can find my two. There we go. Okay, that's gonna hold it, hold it together nicely, and then I'll trim these ends. Okay, and now I'm going to take a mini glue dot, put it behind that knot there that I've tied, and just attach it right there. So cute. Okay, and then use the snail adhesive, and apply that to the front. I know I have a mess here, don't I? Okay, just like that. And there's a cute card to send to someone. So don't forget to visit my website. Leave a comment under this video. I will uh, usually draw at the end of the week a random drawing to send the card to. So take care and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.